welcome back to my channel. So if you're following along, last time we did the HTML and the CSS for navigation up here. And that can be found in our, here in this file header. It's got nav, ul, uli here for our home, about, and contact page. So another thing I would, I would like to mention is that um, if you do like to follow, if you would like to follow along, or if you want to play around with the with the code for this, I do have the link for the GitHub um, in the description box below. So if you do want to kind of look at it on your own time that way, that's fine as well. So that's also there. So you can clone it or fork it or whatever you want to do and and um, play along with it if you'd like to, or you can continue following along with me here. Either way, it's fine. So today. We are going to add a few more things to our website to kind of get it up and running. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to add a container for all of our um, all of our items, the rest of the items in our body. Okay, so let's go do left angle bracket div. Now a div is like dividing the page into pieces so you can think of it as like a divider okay so for the for the most for most of the information we want it to be in our container which we are going to do a class name so class is basically a name for a group of items right so if we have a class of something then it just makes it that much easier to style when we get to our styling so it's a it's a name for like a group of items in this case it's going to be container and we're going to finish this off with a right angle bracket and then at the end of what we have which should be our image so right before that body tag I'm going to left angle bracket slash div and then right angle bracket and again you can kind of see this is off a little bit so I'm going to oops, I'm gonna highlight this stuff in the middle move that over and then move this back one so it's in line with it again that is just making sure that everything is readable and easy to read let's see what this container looks like right because if we refresh our page you see nothing so let's go to our style sheet and before we go there it should be after our header or our nav so again cascading style sheet is should be in order so I'm gonna put the container right here now if we're trying to do the styling for a class we're going to put a dot and then the class name so in our case the class name is container and then those same opening and curly braces opening and closing curly braces and then I'm going to use a border so we can kind of see um, where it is on our page and I just said two pixels solid in the color red just so it kind of stands out and let's refresh our border is just around this section here so if you go back to the HTML it's around this P tag which is this P tag it's around the A tag which is this A tag and it's around our image just as we suspected it should be because it starts here and ends here so that's what it's going to be wrapped around okay so we've got our div class container we see it's red one thing I want to do before we um, kind of move on from here and go to the about section is change this book now because right now it's just a link and personally I would like to see it as a button so we have a tag we want to make it into a button so for right now we can kind of leave it the way it is so right on top of it let's just do to make a button inside of our HTML, we're just going to use the button HTML tag. So if we left angle bracket and then type in button and then right angle bracket and then inside here, let's put book now and then let us do a left angle bracket slash button to close that tag. 
and then we can do a right angle bracket there. So let's remove this one. Now for our site, let's refresh real quick. So here's our button. Now it looks like an actual button instead of just a regular just a link, right? So we're able to click our button as well. Now let's give an ID to our button. So we can do ID equals. And IDs are like classes except we're going to have an ID for this specific button. So classes are more for like groups of items and IDs are more for like specific items. Now I say that and then they, they could be used interchangeably. Um, but if you stick to the rule of thumb where classes are bigger amounts of information, IDs are smaller amounts of information, that might be more helpful. So I'm going to call this um, book underscore now. And I do this because we do not want to leave a space between our names. Um, that will not work in our favor. So we normally, if we have two separate words we want to join together, we'll use this underscore or you can use the dash. I personally like the underscore better. So I'm going to save it. And over here in our style.css, we're going to add in... Um, under our container and our p tag so we had all this styling for our a tag right so we don't really need this anymore so I erased it because we removed the a tag and we replaced it with a ID a button that had an ID of book now now what we're gonna do in order to call on this book now button to be able to use it in our CSS last time we used a class and we said dot for IDs you use a hashtag and then the name of the ID so it's book underscore now and then open and closing curly braces just like that and um, let's go ahead and give it a width and let's just say the width is a hundred pixels and let's give it a height as well and let's get the height at 40 pixels as well so let's save it and just see what we've got so far so as you see this button has grown it has grown to a higher width and it has widened out uh, a bit as well so we want to do some other things too so if you remember the border radius and that's just going to round our corners. I'm a big fan of border radius property. <laughs> I like it because it just makes stuff look a little bit better. So I made mine at 10 pixels. And then I'm also going to give a background color for this guy. And I'm going to give it the same color as this nav bar uh, background color. So I'm going to scroll back up. I'm just going to copy this number from here. And I'm trying to stay consistent with my coloring. I'm no designer but I do want to stay consistent with the colors again so the border I'm going to just do a two pixel solid in that same color for the border just to kind of keep it consistent with the nav as well and then for the color it's going to be white so a hexadecimal value is six letters and numbers together to create this uh, color that you want right so if we want to do uh, color white as you saw I just did three up here and I did three up here and it worked perfectly fine the reason being is because um, the hexadecimal value for white is just six F's so instead of having to and we could there it is it's white instead of having to type out six S we can just do three and it knows that it's white so it's kind of a handy little shortcut for you too okay so let's also increase the font size of the text of this button because as you can see it's fairly small so let's make it just a little bit bigger okay so if we do font size let's do 12 points here again I like to use points for font size you could use pixels kind of depending on what you're comfortable with and what you like to do and then I'm also going to bold this up 
because the text is a little faint as it is. So let's refresh. Now that book now button is very, it's wider, it's um, it's bigger, the font size is bigger as well, and now you're able to see it a little bit better. Now, another thing that we want to do in order to get this button to the middle of our page is since we've already have a width on this, if we just do margin left and then auto, and then margin right auto, this should pull it to the center. Uh oh, let's see, do 100%, and that's going to go all the way over there. If I do 50, and that puts it in the center, a little bit in the center. All right, so this is a way to do it, but I don't know if it's necessarily the quote unquote right way to do it, but it's a way that works. So, when you're coding, hacking your way through it is, is good. So instead of that, I'm going to do margin left and do 44%. Now, another way that we could have done this was to put our button inside of a div. So right above here, if we could have did, we could have did div and then gave it an ID. And then um, instead of book now being the ID here, maybe we could have moved that idea here or put it in a separate ID and gave it like book now, book now button or book button, something like that. And then we could have uh, did the margin left and right and gave it a width and that would have worked perfectly fine. But yeah, we just did the margin left and we were able to make it work. So uh, the next thing we can do is we want our um, about section, right? So let's go and we're going to put this inside of a div. So um, left angle bracket, div, and then a closing div as well. And this one is going to have a class of about site. Okay, so again, a div is just going to make it have like this section or this uh, part of the page is for the about site section. Okay, now speaking of section, there is an HTML5 element that is called section, which for me, I'm going to use it so we're able to kind of go to it through these links up here. So. If I do a, a left angle bracket, type in the word section, right angle bracket, and then close that HTML tag. And then for, I'm going to add an ID equaling to about. Now, we did a lot here, and I'm typing through it kind of fast. So, let me go ahead and go back and kind of recap what we just did. So I just said I want a div. I needed a, a class of about site. Now, if you wanted to, we can kind of go back. We can say, let's go to our style sheet. Because if we refresh this, let's do that first. If we refresh this, you're not going to see what we just did with this. You're not going to see it because there's no borders around it or anything. So right now a div and a section they're just kind of blank space until we put things on that page is what it is. So if we wanted to we can kind of go to um, the about site section. So let me copy that. It's after our image. It's a class. So I could do class name 
about side and then those curly braces and then inside here I can give it a border two pixels solid maybe make it green instead this time and then save it and then if we were to save it we'll see that the green is right underneath that image so it's right underneath that image just as we expect it to be so if we make if we give it a height let's give it a uh, let's give it a height let's just call it 400 pixels and then if we refresh here now we see that that section is much more bigger so now this is the section that um, that we're in okay now the other thing with that is if you noticed that the image is sitting right on top of this div here this about site div ah, it's a little crowded so if we wanted to give it some space we can use margin top and that'll give us some space. So if we do 15 pixels there, and then we can save it. And then, yeah, that gives us a little bit more space here. So we're able to, um, to get some space in between these two sections here. So if we go back to the HTML, we have this about site finished here. Now, about the section. I did the section and I did it for the purpose so that we could link to it from our navigation right because right now it's a dead link it doesn't go anywhere right but if we wanted the about section to actually go to the about section then we can use this hashtag here so if you recall if you want to call an ID you use the hashtag right so it's very convenient to kind of switch through different sections of the page if we just give it an ID so this ID is called about and it comes from right here alright so all I did was name this link to hashtag about that's it so I'm going to save it and scroll up to the top. I'm going to refresh this. And now when I click here, it should take me to that green section. Let's see. And it does. It takes me to this green section. So that's all it did. And another thing it's going to show you is that in your URL, it now says hashtag about. Right? We're not going to a different page. We're still in the same page. We're just in a different section of that page. And this section is the about section so that's what that means now that we've all got caught up let's put some things into our about section so y'all know how to do an h2 tag so I'm gonna do an h2 tag for the heading and I'm just gonna call it about us okay and then I'm gonna have a p tag right underneath it Now, another thing that I just realized was going to be good to do was comments. So I'm going to make a comment, and if you do not recall, you could do command and the question mark, and that should get you these uh, opening comment tags and closing comment tags. All I'm going to say is um, about about a section and the reason I did that is because if this site continues to grow larger and larger and larger then you want to be able to find things so it's just kind of easy if you're just browsing through looking for comments and then it says the about section uh, about a section and then I'll put details because I'm about to put some details in there now another thing is if we go back to our style.css we can do the same thing here. So if we do uh, command question mark, we'll get our opening comment tags and our closing comment tags. And in between here, we can just say about. Now that's going to let us know that all the CSS from here on out is for the about section. And so if we wanted to, we can go back up and do the same thing for the book now button. So we could say this is the book now button 
just in case we're looking for it later or we're confused about it. And then if we scroll even further, we can also do that for the nav, the nav section. And if you don't want to say section, you could just say nav. Anything that kind of just, as we're scrolling through here, kind of gives us a hint of what it is. Just going to make it that much easier to be able to find things. Okay, so back to our HTML. We have this P tag, and we want to put some information about us. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You could actually type out everything that you want to say, or in my case, let's do some lorem ipsum. Let's try that. So if we go over here, open a new tab, lorem ipsum, and there it is. It's basically filler text, okay? It's just some blah, blah text they give you, some dummy text they give you, so that we could fill our page with information. So you can see they've got different languages, and you can come to the middle part here, and you can tell them how many paragraphs of, of lorem ipsum that you want to have. I want uh, two paragraphs of lorem ipsum. Okay, you can get Word, you can get Byte, you can get List, they have everything. So then I'm just going to do Generate Lorem Ipsum. And it has here generated two paragraphs, tells me how many words it is, how many bytes of Lorem Ipsum it is. So it's actually really helpful information. I'm going to copy the first one and put it inside this P tag. And as you can see, it kind of runs off my page. So what I'd like to do when it starts doing that is I'll just come here and I'll just enter and go to a new page. I personally like things even, so that's why I spend the extra time doing this. But it's really not necessary. Okay? So, I'm also going to wrap that P tag around so I can see it. Now, I said two paragraphs, so we need another P tag here. And all I'm going to do is copy this text. And it's going to paste here. And again, this is a little monotonous. But it looks pretty decent. Okay, so now we've got two paragraphs of information. This one here and this one here about our quote unquote website. So I don't think we'll be needing that anymore, so I'll close it. If we go back to our page and refresh, we should see our About Us shows up now. And then we also have our Lorem Ipsum, which is About Us. So, pretty cool, right? Now, you also notice that the text is green. That is because in our style, way up here, we said all the P tags should have this color here. And it does. So I think I'm going to keep mine like that just because I like the uh, the alternate effects of the, the blue and the green. And plus, it makes sense because there's green here. So I'm going to keep mine like that. So this looks pretty good. One thing I do notice is this about us is kind of, you know, it's off to the left. And we really want it in the center. So another thing that we can do is we have an h1 tag that has text align center so let's go ahead and add our h2 tag to make it align center as well now how we do that is we just comma and then h2 so that means we've got two tags with the same property in the same value so i'll just save this and refresh this and it moves over here pretty neat so, that is all that we have for our About Us section. So, look, looks like we're actually uh, moving along here and we're getting things done. Now, if you want, you could also remove this and it'll just make it say 
HTML again. And then if you want to go to the About page, it'll go back to the About page for you. Now, if you notice, if we click Book and we click Contact, there's nothing happening. We click Home, that'll take us back here, but we're already there, right? Um, we haven't done Book and Contact yet, but we will start on those in the next video. Um, before we do that, I just noticed this underlining thing happening, and it's it's actually kind of like a little annoying. Now, if you remember, we took out our A tag, um, and we took out the CSS for our A tag. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back in here to add in to where it says text decoration none. So let me do it in the browser so you can see. And that'll take away that underlining right there. So if we go to our CSS, for me, it's on line 28. And I'm going to do text decoration. And it's going to say none. Okay, and I'm going to save that. And I'll just refresh it here. And now it's not underlined anymore. Okay, and again, it did that because we took out our A tag that was within here. So it was it was looking at that A tag alone and it was like, hey, this one doesn't it doesn't want any uh, text decoration. So it took it out for us. But now that we removed that A tag information, we've got to add it back here because there is no other A tag that says text decoration none. So okay. So that's that's all I have for you for this video. Uh, tune in next time we'll um, do the the book page or the book section. Um, yeah, we'll continue along with our website. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.